Does this channel also do JavaScript tutorials? I'm tempted to ban you. Unless you're trolling and then you're funny. But if you're serious, I should ban you. <laughs> okay guys, let's do a Python tutorial. So this is a letter I. I equals zero. But in Python, you don't even need to say that. You can just make for loops like this. In C, you'd have to go to a lot of effort to say, you know, in C, you'd have to write, think about it, it's so long. You'd have to type int main, and then, you know, you'd get errors. You'd have to type int i, and then you can type for int i. Oh, I, oh, I, int i, I can just put int i right there. No, but C sucks, man. That's why you should all use Python. Look at this, we're gonna write bubble sort in Python. Who's ready to write bubble sort? We're gonna make a list, and the list is the items that we wanna sort. We're gonna make the items 84, 23, 99, and 10. Now, of course, whenever you actually wanna sort a list, you can just ask for your list to be sorted, but that's cheating because this is a tutorial. So first, we're gonna make i go from the range to the length of l, and that will iterate through each element in l. See, zero, one, two, three. Remember that lists start with zero in all languages that aren't stupid. Lua is stupid. We can look and we can see what the elements are in the array. See, 84, 23, 99, 10. Now, bubble sort is not a very good sorting algorithm. It's O of n squared. Say it with me, kids. O of n squared. That's because it has two loops inside of each other, i and j. We call them i and j because back in the day, computers only had i's and j's. You should remember that you're very privileged to be able to use any letter you want, even a word for a variable in Python. Now, in order to write the bubble sort algorithm, we need to check if the item in the list at i, which is always a smaller number than j, you see that? That's because i goes from zero to length a and j goes from i plus one to l. We need to check if the thing at l sub i, which is remember, the zero i is this one, the one i is this one, the two is this one, and the three is this one. If it's bigger than the one at j, if it is bigger than the one at j, we're gonna need to switch the places of i and j. Now there's no nice way to do this. You have to write this all out terribly on three lines. But you'll see, if we wrote the algorithm correctly, our list is sorted. 10, 23, 84, 99. Thank you for joining me on Noob Easy Python Tutorials. Come back another day and we'll learn how to sort a list backwards. Hint, you just changed the sign of the comparison operator. Thank you. Did you like my tutorial? <laughs> you all learned to program today, guys? <laughs>